See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha Nache. This is Aisha's life. Today, your girl is going to basically install this wig i've been having it for like a year now and i've never really installed it installed it but i'm only using the got to be glue spray so we're gonna see what happens okay so i plucked this wig yesterday and with your girl being blind and or visually impaired however you want to say it i find it hard doing customizations on wigs because like the detail or whatever and i still have to customize it a little bit more right here so you guys are gonna see me do all that. I'm gonna walk you through how I do it all. Also, I'm going to link down this tweezer set that I got off of Amazon and it came with four different tweezers in different sizes or whatever. So I'm gonna link this down in the description box so you guys can go purchase it if you need it. Okay, so the first thing that I start off by doing is brushing the wig down to make sure there is no like lumps, blumps, and clumps all in the wig. <laughs> So now I'm just going to make sure all the random hair that I can pull out by my fingers is out. Now, while plucking this wig the other day, I did put a couple of holes in the lace, but with this wig only being $40, baby, I don't really give too, too many Fs. F U C K. Now, in the tweezer sets, we have these tweezers right here that's like a point. I'm gonna try to pull up with these and see how that works, but if not, I'm gonna go on over to the square. So, let me come closer. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just to make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. I feel like these may be the best ones for me because like I can get right to the hairs and that's what we were wanting. The, the square one, the one that's kind of like squared off. Yeah, I can get to what I need to get to, but not like these. So once I placed the wig cap on, I simply just added a little bit of the spray and then I blow dried it. And I did this like twice before I actually like put the wig on top of my head. So when it comes to the type of wig caps I like to use, I prefer the tinted ones because first of all, it doesn't make my lace look ashy, even if I don't, you know, bleach my knots, which I never usually do. So I'm about to put the wig on now. So now that I have my wig on top of my head, I'm just going to brush it and make sure, you know, it's nice and smooth. And with having my hair braided down, also with having a wig cap on, my wig does not look like a freaking cone head. So that's lovely. <laughs> So unfortunately, I did not make an outro to this video, but thank you so much for watching. And if you guys want to see future content as far as me like trying to customize wigs and learning that whole process, please make sure you hit that subscribe button with that bell, pressing all so you get all my notifications and don't miss out on the next one. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.